31 days, 31 videos. That's what we're doing this month, the whole month of August. Even while I'm at work, even while I'm sitting around doing nothing, even on the weekends. Here's today's. Enjoy it. Face it, it's as hard to find as a black nano on a black lamppost. Make sure to hit subscribe and hit that notification button so you don't miss a single episode. Hey y'all, John Broyles, Cash and Cubmaster here. The last video was about the nano, the blinky. Now we're going to cover the next size up, which has more containers, the micro. Or in the old days of the geocaching app, it used to be called extra small. We're coming up on ground zero of one of the most common types of micro. We'll show it. Not going to really give any spoilers about the location of the cache. But I will say that you'd be amazed at how many you'd find in downtown Peoria. Let's go hunt us a bison too. found a bison too. We're going to go ahead and find another common type of micro cache. And this one is chosen because it's magnetic. So it goes right to where it needs to go. It'll just take us a minute to get there. And I know exactly where this one is hidden. In fact, I could actually log maintenance on it. So let's go see the home of the founder. Just a couple blocks down the street. Other types of micro caches, nah, or yeah, micro caches, which, believe it or not, ground speak includes a nano as a type of micro. Honestly, I think nano should be their own separate thing. Let me know down in the comments what you think. But you, pill bottles, you can find pill, you can get pill bottles from the pharmacy. In fact, you don't even have to get a prescription filled to get pill bottles. Just say, hey, can I get some? Ask nicely. Or when you get done with your aspirin bottle. But there are. And there's a muggle. I'm at ground zero and there's a muggle. Well, let's wait out this muggle and then we'll go find that cache so I can do my main. Okay, it looks like the muggle's gone. Nope. Because he's on his phone, just chatting away. Ah, uh, muggles.
Let's see if we can be stealthy enough to grab the cache, check the log, do the maintenance on it, and put it back. All right. This is one of my caches. We got it. Ta-da! Here's the second common type, or not the second, but a second co common type of micro. The magnetic key holder. It adheres to just about anything metal, lamp posts, fences, and inside. A good owner will put a baggie with the log. Let's check. Now, somebody was nice enough to replace the log for me. Very much cool. Logs in great shape. Baggies in good shape. Go ahead and mark owner maintenance done because this is one of my, this is one of my caches. We'll put it back and let's try to find another micro. I know where there's one. Now it just so happens if I have to replace one of my caches, I do carry some types with me. And they're micros. This one, believe it or not, is a test strip container for diabetics. When they check their blood sugar, they use strips that are in here. The case itself is waterproof, so it keeps the strips dry. And I put a baggie around my log just in case. And it seals up pretty nicely. Nice and watertight. Good little height. Sometimes you can go to places like Walmart, Lowe's, Menards, and you can pick up some of these. These are stacking boxes. And it is small enough to be considered a micro to where it's not really watertight. It's not a true lock and lock, but it does seal up nicely. And there is a log in a baggie. And this type, this size of micro, you may be able to get maybe a path tag, a uh, eraser, a coin of some kind. One other type of micro container that is. Ah, here it is. Got two other types. You don't see these much anymore unless you know a photographer. The good old 35 millimeter film canister. In fact, if you go on some power trails, you will find nothing but these. These are nice. They're easily hideable. There's the log in a baggie. These are not really waterproof. And they come in translucent white or black and gray. And then there's always, like I mentioned before, the pill bottle. Which you can get at a drugstore. Use your, use an old aspirin bottle, etc. Medicine bottle. Clean it out. Put the log in a baggie. Perfect for going under a lamp post. Lamp post caches. Beautiful things. And one other that is actually considered a micro, even though I questioned it. A preform. This is a soda bottle before it becomes a soda bottle. There we go. Just open it up. Some people actually put a Sido bag in there and place it in a cache to where it's like, use the bag, hide the container. Easy enough to slap a log, roll a log up, slide it in there, maybe with a pencil, and an easy hide. What are some of the other micros that you've seen out and about caching? Make sure, 
put it down in the comments let me know what you've seen if you happen to like what like this little video go ahead and hit that like button if you think i'm ugly mama shelly dressing me funny hit that dislike button and as always hulk smash on that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing that i pull out of my hat i'm john broyles the cash cub master that's going to do it for this edition of dnf magazine where i'm going over micro caches so that means the next one on the list will be small y'all have a good one